Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. Today, I want to send a little message to our Pro 2A, Pro Gun Democrat friends. You know, people that are members of the Democratic Party, but they still believe in the Second Amendment because they often face quite a conundrum on who to vote for. I hear it from people all the time that are either left of center or even kind of towards the center who are like, oh, I don't want to vote for Democrats because of their stance on guns, because the things they do is really scary. They obviously want to take our rights away, like the assault weapons ban they got proposed right now. And even though it has very little chance of passing, it's still scary. And it still shows how they feel about your rights as a U.S. citizen. And they're like, but I have to vote for them because of the things, uh, other issues like gay rights and homelessness and trans and immigration, etc. All those other issues. So they're like, what are we supposed to do? I can't vote Republican because they hate gay people and they hate immigrants and they hate this and that. Well, first off, what you need to do is you need to realize you don't have to vote Democrat or Republican. You can vote independent. I vote independent. And I'm not a Democrat that votes independent. I was always a Republican from the age of 18 to about age of 30. I was a registered Republican. And then I had tickets to go see a, a rally for George W. Bush and Cheney in Portland, Oregon. Had my tickets, showed up, and was told that one condition of entry was that I sign a fealty pledge saying I will be blindly loyal to, loyal to the party and any platform they take up. And I was like, not doing that. And they didn't let me in. And that day I decided, well, you know, any party that requires me to sign a form saying I'll be blindly loyal doesn't deserve my membership. And I definitely don't want to be a Democrat, so I'm an independent. Uh, not a libertarian, anything like that, just independent. But like I was saying, let's say you're a Democrat and you don't want to vote Republican because you don't like their stance on things like homelessness and uh gay marriage and stuff like that. First off, when you're looking at a candidate, do they actually have those opinions? Just because someone's a Republican doesn't mean they're homophobic, doesn't mean they're anti-legal immigration, doesn't mean any of those things. A lot of times this, these things are blown up in the media to be way bigger than they actually are. And they'll point out the worst possible Republican candidates, you know, the fucking neo-Nazis and pretend that's the party. Uh, that doesn't seem to be the party to me. Most people I meet that are Republican are not neo-Nazis. So first off, make sure the people you're hating on, you're hating on them for the right reasons, that it's actually their position. And opposite of that, make sure the people that you're voting for, that you're biting your lip and voting for, simply because you agree with them on everything else except for gun rights, are they actually doing those things they're talking about? Or are they just saying the right things about homelessness and gay marriage, etc.? Remember, Obama was anti-gay marriage until it became popular to be pro-gay marriage. So Democrats haven't historically been a, uh, a friend to any of these things. So just remember, are you voting for someone who is actually doing the stuff you want them to do that makes you have to, you know, take your chances with gun rights? Or are they just saying the right things? Because if they're just saying the right things, there's no reason to vote against or go vote for them when they're clearly against you as a citizen keeping your rights. So you have to be informed about candidates. Are they as bad as you think they are? If they are, don't vote for them. Are they doing the things that they say they're going to do that you agree with? Or are they just giving you lip service? If they're giving you just giving you lip service, don't vote for them. The things they do actually do that they show you they'll do. And I'm just, I'm not picking on the left here. I'm just talking about the left today. There's plenty of things on the right that I don't like that they do. They try to tell people how to live their lives all the time. They try to reduce people's uh, free speech. They do all kinds of bad things on the right. Right now, we're just talking about gun rights, and the left pretty much holds the uh, bag on that. They're the anti-gun group. So we're just dealing with that. Don't think I'm saying, oh, the Republicans are wonderful and Dem Democrats are bad. No, I'm an independent for a reason. But right now we're talking about gun rights, and the Democratic Party is bad when it comes to gun rights. They want to steal your rights, period. There's no debating that. There's none of that, oh, they're not coming for your guns. They're clearly coming for your guns. They've been coming for your guns. They aren't hiding it anymore. You know, they talk about how, oh, the racists on the right don't even bother to hide it anymore. 
The anti-gun grab, the anti-gun uh, gun grabbers on the left, they don't bother to hide it anymore either. It used to be they were like, oh, safety and all of this and just reasonable responsibility. Now they're just like, take these guns away from people. So pay attention to that. And if you feel like, well, I can't really support that, don't vote for them. And you don't have to vote Republican, like I said, vote independent. And you might say, well, that's just giving the election to the Republicans if I'm a Democrat who votes independent. No. It's not. You might give them one election cycle, but I guarantee you tomorrow, if Democrats said, fuck, we put forward an assault weapons ban and we lost the House and the Senate because of it, maybe we should start not listening to the fucking uh, anti-gun loonies in our party. That shouldn't be our national platform. We need to tell them, you're extreme. This is a settled issue. Get out of the party. They'd be making changes if they lost their vote. They're counting on you biting your tongue and voting for them because they say the right things. They do that on both sides. Stop falling for it. Now, a lot of people might say now, well, uh, because of recent court decisions, well, it's okay, it's safe to vote for the Democrats now without even considering these other things because the laws they pass that are anti-gun will get struck down. There's no legal standing for them. In fact, they will fall. Well, don't rely on that either. I agree with you. They will fall. But as I pointed out before, the reason they passed this anti-gun legislation, the reason they passed things like mag limits and stuff like that, it isn't to restrict you as a citizen. It's to cripple industry. It's to get rid of gun shops. It's to get rid of gun manufacturers. They want to create an environment where even if they can pass bad law and that bad law just stays the law for a year while it goes through the courts, they could run 80% of manufacturers and 90% of retailers out of business easily. And we would be reduced to where guns are so rare you know, and so hard to get that you have to take out a loan to get one. You know, only rich people would have guns. Believe me, they would be okay with if guns didn't go away, but they were just in the hands of wealthy people. That would be fine with politicians. They don't want to take guns away from the elite anyway. They don't want to take guns away from the people that enforce their law, like law enforcement. You know, they always exempt law enforcement from these laws. So that would be fine with them. So don't be thinking, well, as long as it gets overturned within a year, we're fine. Yes, we are fine. But that could damage the industry, which could eventually damage the Second Amendment and damage the community because you just simply can't get guns or ammo because of how many businesses went out while these laws were in place. So that's my message today to you. If you are a Democrat and you hate the way they vote against your rights when it comes to the Second Amendment, remember we're just dealing with Second Amendment. You can make the same point against Republicans for other topics, but right now this channel, my main concern is well, animal welfare and then the Second Amendment and First Amendment. So talking about the Second Amendment, if you've been saying, well, I hate their position on the Second Amendment, but I like their other positions, are they living up to those positions? Like I've said, if they're not, don't vote for them. Vote independent. Send them a message that you're not going to continue to choose them because you think they might be the lesser of two evils. The lesser of two evils is still evil. Stop being evil. Stop accepting evil. Send a message that you better change or you won't get elected again as far as I'm concerned. All right, everybody, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed the show and I hope you come back again tomorrow. Before I leave, I wanna remind everyone that we are in the last days. After today, there's only two more days that you can donate to the Fur Friends Animal Rescue Fundraiser or FURF, I guess we could call it. Go over to my website, tympistolproject.com, if you haven't already. You can see over there, you can donate. Basically, you're choosing a sticker, that's choosing your donation level. And based on how much you donate, you'll get specific numbers of entries to a drawing at the end of this, which we will hold on the 11th. At the end of the fundraiser, the 10th is the end of the fundraiser. You have till midnight on the 10th to enter. And then on the 11th, we'll be doing a drawing. That person will win a gift certificate for $800 to the retailer, the online retailer of their choice. So if you haven't gone over and picked out your uh, donation level, got yourself a sticker ready to come to you, a poster ready to come to you, whatever, and you can afford to do so, if, or if you just want to help an animal, please go do so. If you don't want to bother with the stickers, there's a place above that on the webpage where you can just donate through PayPal, and for every $10 you donate, you'll get an entry into the drawing. But if you can, please, we got to get it to our goal in these last couple of days. Uh, I thought we were there, but Printify really screwed up how things were going. 
Uh, Wix apparently is a really bad website. I shouldn't be using them, but you know, it's the only one I know how to use. But uh, we'll talk about more of that in the live chat if you want to come to the live chat tonight. Uh, tonight it's at 5 p.m. Pacific time because it is Monday. It's 6 p.m. Pacific time almost every night except for Mondays and Wednesdays when it's 5 p.m. So come on over, join in the chat, have some fun. But right now, if you can afford to, please go over to tympistolproject.com. There's a link in the upper corner of this video to take you right over there. Choose your donation level, get yourself a sticker or a poster, and get yourself entered to win that gift certificate for $800 to the online retailer of your choice. And with that being said, I am done. Like I said, hope to see you again tomorrow. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again. Mm -hmm.